All right, guys, welcome back to How Fast 719. I am in Idaho, or actually, I'm in Ontario, Oregon. It's on the border of Idaho. Anyway, got here my 2024 Kia Telluride SX in white, obviously, with 20 inch wheels. Got me some Chipotle. Uh, if you haven't seen other videos, what I've done is I've done a wrap from steering wheel cover from Walmart, center console cushion cover from the, uh, I don't know, the Amazon, some weather guards. But anyway, this video is going to be installing these. So I'm going to install them here in the parking lot. They are rock blocks, rock blocks, uh, rally mud flaps, all the accessories. This says uh, rear. Oops. This says front. So um, I do have their little toolkit that they sell, which was pretty cheap. If you did a, if you watched, I did an unboxing video of what you get. Um, you don't get this. This you have to buy, and then some stickers I bought too. So, um, but yeah, I am going to be using this with what looks like a Phillips screwdriver, and uh, yeah. So I'm going to throw them on. I'm going to do. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, I will need to get a screwdriver or a knife. Um, you got to do Phillips here, Phillips here. And then a clip right here. This clip will um, pop, snap out. And then obviously, obviously, same as the other side. And then uh, the front is three. Phillips, you got one, two, and three. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Um, the car is super dirty. I leave it in uh, at at our uh, one of our depot yards kind of like this but it's in uh, Nampa Idaho and uh, yeah it's gonna be super easy to do these things so let me get to it show you how to do it um, I'll probably do one side and then uh, maybe video the other side but it's pretty straightforward uh, you can get instructions and stuff online with when you order the kit sorry um when you order the kit you get this paperwork which has qr codes to scan install video um mounting instructions in a pdf format they give you a little ruler and uh yeah they want p positive feedback you can get them on ebay you can get them um, on Amazon right there I went straight to them I think I saw them on Facebook like it says right there I reached out to them and uh, decided to order a set because I'm gonna put a little more aggressive tire I guess you can call it and I don't want it throwing up rocks and throwing up mud because this car will be used, even though I just got it. This car will be used to go um, all over the U.S., Colorado, Nebraska, Wyoming, basically everywhere that you'll see mud, rain, sleet, snow. Um, and I want to protect as much as I can, keep all the splash, the uh, splash up coming up. So um, the tire I'm going to be using. Um, I got different wheels. I got drag wheels. Um, I can't remember their name. It's like a number, like 042, something like that. And then uh, I'm going to be using like an all terrain tire. Um, nothing too meaty, but I just don't want stuff slinging up. So you can already see that the tire does overhang. And uh, I do have some slosh slush whatever coming up right here so i decided to get these because i want to protect this car as much as i can because it is a very expensive car 
So anyway, all right guys, let's do it. I'll, like I said, I'll do one side or maybe I'll just do the one side first or on video and then show you a walk around of the rest. But that's, that's where I'm gonna go. Then after that, I'm gonna eat me some Chipotle. All right guys, so I'll show you a little thingy real quick. They give you this washer and they give you 10 of these. In my unboxing video, I said they were plastic. I believe they're aluminum. But anyway, um, this small washer is gonna go behind the mud flap, right over here. Obviously, because these are too big for there. So, um, and then make sure you got the right one. I just put this one on right here and I put the wrong side on. <laughs> so follow instructions. Um, then it even says, right front so you want the lettering going that way so and then like I said this washer is gonna go here because uh, of this here so let me throw it on real quick and then uh, get it all tightened up and we'll do the rear and then I'll be back Ouch. all right guys so don't take this one off you gotta take this one off they're just these little clips. Stick a screwdriver in there and pop it off. And then you'll stick uh, this little piece in there. You can center it, center it a little more. And uh, just using a little screwdriver. And then center it better than I'm doing. It's just hard doing it with a phone and everything. But you also want to make sure. Sorry, flies are landing on me. But this is gonna go something like that. So you guys get it. Hopefully you get it. Hopefully it makes sense. And then this piece. Tab right there. It's gonna go on here, and then like that. The mud flap. Anyway, let me get it on, and I'll show you. All right, guys, got them installed. So the rears, they kind of just flop like that, which which is fine. Um, they take the two screws here. The most bottom screw, this upper screw. Um, it would have been nice to have another screw up here, but not too worried about it. Um, these clips that go in here, that screw in there, go easy with those. I stripped this one out, the little, the little metal rectangle thing. Um, I ended up having to put it on the ground, smashing the thread. It's kind of a, a spiral deal like this and uh, ended up having to smash it down so that it, and smash it in so it would be tighter. But, so just be careful with that. It doesn't thread as much as these upper screws. So you only get about three threads on that bottom one, whereas these ones you get almost the full screw. So anyway, let's see what it look like. I think I'm gonna move that one out. This one, this one doesn't look too bad. That one looks pretty bad on the bottom. The bottom looks too far in, so um, let's check. Let me see. Let's check this. Yeah, that one looks pretty good. That one looks pretty good on the front. So, fronts are good. This one, I'm gonna loosen those ones and pull that one back out, but pretty easy. As you can see, did it in the parking lot. You don't need a lift, you don't need anything crazy. You do get a little dirty. Um, but, and then if you are doing it up here, flies attacking you, so just be mindful. 
but don't get irritated. It's not that hard of a job. So anyway, I'm gonna go straighten that one out, but that's the company. Pretty cool company, pretty cool little design. Rock blocks, rally mud flaps, RB star. That's how I'm gonna say it, rock block star. But anyway, um, yeah, the little tool. It's pretty cool. It's just uh, needs some refining, I guess. I can uh, tell that these gears inside of here are a little notchy. Maybe with a little lubricant and uh, stick this thing on a drill. Get these these uh, teeth in there. A nice fine polish, but you can see it's it's like sticking. Like it's stuck right there, and then it goes. It's it's not a good fine thread. It's like see it's stuck right there. But anyway, we expect it's probably from China, but cool. Got their little logo on it. All right, I'm gonna adjust this, and then I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna eat some dinner, and then uh, wash up, wash up, eat some dinner, and then probably go to the gym and take a shower. And uh, I believe I'm already set up for for my bed. Oh, jeez. So I sleep in this rig, people. So anyway, more to come. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys on the next video. Subscribe, comment. I'll leave a link to these people. Um not sure they did say that they would give me a discount if I did a video but you guys know me I was gonna do a video anyway so I figure I might as well so the discount could be up to 75% I don't know it could be 10% but a percent is a percent all right I'll adjust this one real quick and gonna go do what I gotta do thanks for watching guys subscribe comment do what you guys do keep being you later